Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and in today's tutorial let's talk about everything that we have to be aware of in the climb in the Airbus A310. So, first of all, let's talk about the seatbelt sign. As I told you in the last tutorial, I've kept the seatbelt sign on because I do expect a little bit of turbulence and that can very easily be seen by just looking at those clouds. In order to have clouds like this in the sky, those cumulus clouds, you definitely need updrafts which bring energy into the air and which lift air parcels. And as you're going at 250 knots, currently accelerating to 325, you are going to encounter turbulence when you fly at that speed into, an, into a rising or descending air. That's why I've left the seatbelt signs on. Another thing to worry about, even though on the ground it was 15 degrees when we departed, is the temperature is cooling rapidly as we climb. So if we were to enter these clouds up there, we would definitely need to turn on our engine anti-ice. If the engine anti-ice needs to be turned on in the A310, you can find it up here on the overhead panel just above the lights. Just click on the engine and the engine anti-ice is going to come on. Note that normally you will only put the engine anti-ice on because the wing anti-ice is only used as a de-icing tool, which means that only once ice has already accumulated on the airplane, we are going to turn on the wing anti-ice in order to remove set icing again. It is a good practice to turn on the engine anti-ice before you enter the actual icing conditions. That's why I've just turned it on, because I'm not 100% sure with the acceleration still going on that we can climb above those clouds. And that's why I, I have preemptively turned on the engine anti-ice. Let's talk a little bit about different autopilot modes. So currently we're flying on profile mode and on nav mode, which you can see indicated on the FMA here. We have profile climb and we have nav. Now, if we wanted to deviate from the target values for whatever reason, then we have level change mode available, which basically maintains the airspeed by adjusting the thrust. So for a climb, if we go into level change, our speed window is going to open. Let's do that. Speed window is open and it is going to maintain the maximum thrust that we have selected on the thrust rating computer. We can see over here 102.1% is the current thrust limit and that is what the autopilot is setting here as well. Minor deviations are acceptable. Let's go ahead then and say that we have to climb at a certain vertical speed. According to the ICAO when you are approaching your standard um, level of altitudes there are standard procedures to follow. So on the last thousand feet that we have to climb, according to ICAO and Airbus, we can do a maximum of 1,500 feet a minute. Now, how do we go into vertical speed mode then? That is fairly easy. Just pull out your vertical speed knob that engages vertical speed mode, as we can see on here. And then the number shown is indicating in thousands. Uh, sorry, in hundreds. So right now we have 2,400 feet selected. Simply rotate it down to the target 1,500 feet a minute and then the Airbus is automatically going to respond. We can see here that it is responding rather slowly, which is quite good because that definitely increases passenger comfort. Now, since we have still have quite a bit to climb, let's go back into profile mode and observe how the plane is setting climb thrust once again and now it is once again going to pitch up in order to maintain our target airspeed of 325 knots. As we have now passed above the clouds let's go ahead and turn the engine anti-ice off and since I do not expect any further turbulence let's go ahead as well and select the seatbelt sign to off. It is also a very good plan every 10,000 feet of altitude to verify your cabin pressure. Now we can of course do that on the overhead panel 
or we could go ahead and do it on the eCams. In order to make things easy, let's go ahead and have a look at the overhead panel. So in here, make sure that your cabin differential pressure is building, that the cabin is climbing, and that the cabin altitude is increasing. None of these should go into any red values. We can see our cabin is slightly climbing here. Our cabin altitude is currently around about 2,200 feet maybe. So it has already climbed quite a bit up from the airfield elevation. And you should repeat this check every 10,000 feet in the climb. So passing level 100, level 200, level 300 and eventually flight level 400. From here on, there is not a lot more for you to do, so monitor your climb carefully, stay on top of everything, and one last final word here, it is known for the A310 to not adhere to restrictions on your flight plan perfectly, so you might, as needed, have to intervene manually and use any appropriate autopilot mode in order to control your airplane to meet any restrictions that you have in the flight plan page down here. That is going to conclude our climb tutorial. For now we have nothing else to do but to monitor how our airplane is climbing and how our airplane is following the profile that we have entered. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you are doing anything different. Leave a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. Finally, if you really want to support the channel, you can do so through the Buy Me a Coffee link that you can find in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again on the next one.